Can Big Brother bring back the ashes? Magnificent effort. How sad for a marvelous Big Brother special. Coming up next on Nine. Tonight on Big Brother. Michaela. <laughs> no. Which housemate will join you in the halfway house? A nominations bombshell. Do whatever you yeah. feel's right, darling. Neither of us care. As Michaela's casting vote puts Tim up for nomination and into the halfway house. So it looks like I may never see the pool again. <laughs> Tully finally makes it into the safe house. The chair is comfy and pretty and the walls feel amazing. And wickets tumble in Big Brother's own Ashes Challenge. <laughs> oh, oh, how's that? <laughs> In the event of a tie, the onus falls upon the housemate who has received the most nomination points to make the choice. The first nominations have ended in high drama, with five nominees decided and banished to the halfway house. But there's one more required. Tim and Heidi finished on equal points. The deadlock has to be broken. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Michaela. <laughs> Which housemate will join you in the halfway house? Do whatever you yeah. feel's right, Tom. Neither of us care. Of the six now banished to the halfway house, five have never been there before. It's their first look at the half-sized bedroom. Oh my gosh, let's see the room. At least we're both over here. I actually probably would have not liked being on the other side with you guys all over here. Mm. Just feels weird. It's like it's weird hold. that most Pretty much of us hold house. Yeah. Well, me and Jade didn't have a choice, but yeah, I did not expect Shaz. And I expected like a few others that yeah. didn't. Yeah, Jazz was just a surprise. Jazz and Shaz, far out. Oh, no. Come on, Michaela. Oh, you know yeah. what? We're going to just make the most of this, guys. Our, uh, no. You know the tricks of the trade, so you can show us how the main goes. Yeah, yeah, this, this is your well. home. How many beds is wow. there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Phyllis saw their six best. of us, six beds. Cool. No, it's, it's harder than that. <laughs> OK. It's harder it than that, It doesn't really imagine. work. Uh, yeah, right. I want to go outside. I want to see from the other side of the Yeah, fence. can we go in in the backyard legally? Maybe. Let's make the most of it. We make the most of it. We've got Shaz you know on the side. Don't worry, hon. <laughs> and you know what? We don't have Michaela has now been a halfway housemate for her entire stay. I, th I told myself I wouldn't take it personally. But... Don't take it personally. Why, if you do one thing, don't take it personally. <laughs> hey, don't take it personally. Not worth it. Enjoy your time here. We all had to choose someone. <laughs> I was saying it might have been one thing and everyone, because there was nothing else that we could, you know, pick from anyone else. So please don't. Let's enjoy the time. Show us around. Let's have a good time, okay? This is the bedroom. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> We're going to be fine, and you're going to be fine because you're with us now. We're strong people. I don't know what I wanted. I don't know what I wanted. You don't have to do it at night. I have an end. This sucks. Hey, we're still your family, right? Yeah. Yeah. This one, there's still six of us. You're going to be all right? Oh, Mum, Nana. There's a couple of people over in the halfway house who I didn't think would be there. And there's a couple of people there who I kind of thought, I suppose that would, that would happen, but I didn't know they were going to go back there. <sighs> but I do feel very grateful that I'm still in the safe house, at least for the time being. Tim. Drew. Big Brother. Hello. How can Big Brother help you today? Uh, probably can't help us. We just thought before the girls come in and cry all over the diary room chair... Yeah, it's not a big deal. ..we'd come in as blokes and just say that we're, happy, we're fine. We're happy to be here. Can you just give me a hug? I need to snap out of this. 
Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, girls. It's not the end of the world. It's just a big thing. It's a huge thing. I would be incredibly emotional. Tim, were you surprised that you were nominated? No. <laughs> I was surprised I had the least amount of nominations of people who were over here. I'm upset because... No one wants to be nominated. Um, I'm upset because my kids will get upset. <laughs> You know, they'll see me upset. That's, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm worried about. I think I need to have a few laughs. It's been quite quite a heavy morning, but um, you're not far from my thoughts. I love you, Mum. Love you, Nana. How do you feel? Well, like, this kind of thing doesn't affect me at all. Yeah. You want but to, you want to, almost want, not want I know to, that it's you. going to be hard to be sensitive around you guys, who yeah. it does really affect. So if there's anything I can do for you, yeah. tell me. If there's anything I can stop doing, tell me. Okay. You know why? Well, just keep being yourself. Yeah. Not two weeks, at least. Go on. Get to cook, baby girl. I know. Are you super excited? I'm in my element. I'm in my element. I'm like. Ooh. Former halfway housemates are getting their first taste of safe house luxuries in the kitchen. Oh my god, I can pour myself a glass of juice. This is crazy. Woo! Where are the cups, baby boys? Up the top, up there. Up there. The only person missing from their group is Michaela. You know, I thought I'd been making some really great strides in here, and I thought I'd been, you know, doing really well and being the best person I could be. And then upon hearing that I got the most nomination points out of everyone, kind of makes me think to myself, well, you know, maybe I'm not that nice a person, maybe I'm not that the person that I thought I was. It's kind of also just made me realise that loyalties just need to be thrown out the window. You need to look after number one. I'm going to continue being myself. I'm not, I'm not going to make any apologies for being someone who other people might not overly like or appreciate. It's just too much effort having to worry about what everyone's thinking and how everyone's feeling. So if they don't like me, then they can continue nominating me by all means, but I'm not going to change my behaviour just so they can have an easier time. Mate, don't even start with me. No, Michaela and Tully clashed over it. beds oh, when they were together on the bad I side. Now Tully is ready to enjoy newfound luxuries, like her first sit in the big gold chair. Tully, how do you like the diary room in the safe house? Uh, I love it. It's almost like I want to breathe a sigh of relief. The chair is comfy and pretty and the walls feel amazing. I, would, I mean, we would have killed to sleep on these floors. Um, in the, in the halfway house, so it's just it's so lush and you feel you really do feel privileged. As I've said all along to you, it's never been about which side of the house I've been on, it's about the people. And the people that I was most excited about coming onto this side of the house and getting to know are now on the other side of the house. So it's catch me too, big brother. There isn't I think now we've all realised that, this, that the halfway house is here to stay. We're all a bit blown away, to be honest. Coming up, latecomers on the defensive. <laughs> and Tim on the attack. I don't even, like, want to bother with Rowan and the bubbly sisters. This is Big Brother. Ed and Heidi to the diary room. <gasps> Good luck, guys. Thanks, Bye, guys. guys. We'll see you later. The props for this week's task are waiting in the diary room. Oh, oh god. my god! <laughs> oh, my. oh my god! I told you I was good at cricket. <laughs> <laughs> the task is the ashes. On the safe house side of the backyard, Big Brother will bowl random balls to the batting housemates who must defend their wicket. 
The halfway housemates won't be having half as much fun on their side of the pitch. They must provide the ashes by keeping a fire burning around the clock using wicket bales for tinder. Hello! Housemates, it's time for your next weekly shopping task. You are all about to complete in Australia's most celebrated international sporting rivalry. Yeah. This week's task is the ashes. <laughs> uh, the rules are simple. When housemates hear the cricket theme song, the ashes task is about to start. Over the two days of the test, the housemates can only lose a total of 20 wickets. Any more, and they lose the task. So we've got to lose. It's sunny Queensland, so the chances of an English style washout are slim. Two halfway housemates must get into their boiler suits, go to the fireplace, light the fire, and keep it burning. Welcome to the BBCG. Up to bat we have Ed, who has a great six pack. But can he actually hit a six, Brett? If he can just convert each one of those stomach muscles into runs, he'll be loved. Do you reckon we just keep it, try and keep it burning all the time? Yeah, 24-7. Yeah. The eternal flame. We're blue collar. We're working class men! <laughs> Come on, Marie. Who's it gonna be? It could be ages now. Yeah. Don't hate far. me. You won't. Yeah, hate and me. And you've you got know. this. How quick is that? That That's is really so quick, fast. man. The boys get the hard balls. The girls get the soft. Wonder what I'll get. Maybe I'll get no, some fairy floss or something. That's going to be What's the hardest. What's that sport when he goes? <laughs> Lovely drive through cover. Yeah. He's finding his rhythm. Let's hope he doesn't lose it. Come on, Eduardo. Oh, yeah. Did he get out? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm afraid it's all over for young Ed. That is absolutely back pad LB. He's gone. What a tragedy. They're taking his face off the cereal box. Heidi, you got to update the score. Yeah, no. Yeah. Comes out so quick. We got one. Let's go, Heidi. We want more pop for you, bro. You're right. The tables have turned in the kitchen where former halfway housemates are now dishing up the meals for the nominees on the other side. Guys, let's just pretend this is a resort. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. fully. You share outside of Where Bali. we don't have to True cook that. or clean. True that. We have to wash, but that will just with that. But they feed us and clean up after us. <laughs> I love living like this. What is that? It's like when you get one of those like brown hot chips. I always eat them. It's hard. It's like hair. Ew. It's like a piece of carpet. It's like cardboard or something. Guys, do you have cardboard in yours? No. no. It's bread. It's bread. Do you guys have everything uh, you mm. need? Thank you. It tastes amazing. Yeah, it's really good. This is Big Brother. Safe housemates. Next to the cricket pitch is Rohan and Xavier. Tan sesh girls. Yes, we will. We're going to cheer oh, these guys on. Give me, give me a lot of Mal Malibu Barbies. <laughs> Get your tan on. <laughs> I will not be throwing this. Should we roll? No, throw. throw. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. nice. I'm not sure how I am at throwing. Yay. You'll be fine. Perfect. Oh, oh that was my sorry. fault. <laughs> I think that was mine. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, no girls. But these two new girls are nice. Yeah, they're great. They're great. I don't know how I'd go with uh, none of their sisters. So I guess it might be a little bit, I think they spend all the time together anyway, but being not yeah, being out three metres apart be so I thought annoying. they'd struggle straight away, but they're, they're killing it. Yeah. They're not twins. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they don't look like twins. I don't even, like, want to bother with Rowan and the bubbly sisters. 
it's hard now because well, they're yeah. going to come to us, yeah. aren't they? Rowan and the Bubbly Sisters. They're very yeah. nice, though. Yeah. Uh, they're nearly overly nice. Gee, I'll give it time. It's yeah. like the thing of champagne. It's ex sort of exciting when it pops, but then you when you taste it, it's like, yeah. yep. No, <laughs> it's not yeah. That's a very good analogy. Yeah. 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 See, you are quite clever, Tim. Can you, can you lick your elbow? I don't know. No. <laughs> Why? No, just try. Maybe. Everyone can lick their elbow. Can you lick your elbow? I can't. Everyone can. Oh. What are those sisters' deal? Do people really exist like that They're in the blueberries. world? The blueberries. Yeah. I don't know. I reckon it's... Like, surely it's not it's... another I reckon trick. it's played up a little bit. No, it's not a trick. They're just played up. I think it's just their thing that they do, and they'd be the, whatever, the Thompson twins. And that's how they do it. I'm looking forward sure. to seeing how you go with cricket. Oh, God, so am I. This is pretty bad out. <laughs> so, Rohan. Yes, sir. Has anyone ever sung <coughs> Rawhide, but replaced the word Rawhide with Rohan to you? I'm being honest with you, that has never happened. And I don't think it will. Welcome back to the BBCG. Young Rohan, he has the body of an athlete, traditionally stronger at PlayStation. Well, he's going to have to do more than press XO triangle square if he wants to make an impact today. Next. There's a couple of people that are going to rule this house and they're already ruling it. They're going to get to the final three yeah. and you can just write, it's written. Like it's, the ending's already written. Is that yours too? It is, hun. Did you want those shoes as well? What shoes? There are some shoes on top of the two oh, boxes. Not Newly nominated Jasmine is moving house. She and Caleb became friends when he was on the bad side and she was on the good. Now, they are divided the other way around. You feeling all right? You just have it down. Yeah, I was a bit down. This just sucks. Yeah. All right. It was really hard this morning to, to snap out of it, so I said to Shaz I needed to stop. But, like, I know exactly what Tully is feeling now because when yeah. everyone's arguing, are you OK, are you OK, you start questioning yourself. And even though you are OK, like, you can't, you can't go anywhere. The door was locked. It's like, oh, my gosh, oh my gosh, just leave me alone. Like, it's horrible. Yeah. Honestly, I feel just really bad for Sharon. Jazz and Shaz Sharon. in particular. Like, that was, I, I thought that was a massive shock. Shock. And I just start to feel, you know, upset for, for yep. Shaz because she's so upset and... And so was Jazz. I know. Oh, that, they'll be OK. They'll be fine. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I can f yep. see that they're, they're pretty upset about it. Yeah, see his big brother. Ben, to the diary room. Yay. Battery change. You reckon? Ben's been summoned to the diary room where big brother has a proposition to put to him. Oh, look at that, eh? Oh, very nice. Ben. Hello. Ben, Big Brother understands that outside the Big Brother house, you don't currently have a job, although you've been eagerly looking for one. I have been looking for a job like crazy. I've applied for everything, catering, cleaning, factory work. What would you do if Big Brother said he may be able to help you out? <laughs> um, I would say I'm all ears. Do tell. Inside the box next to you yeah. is a copy of the Big Brother classifieds. Oh. Take a look, Ben. <laughs> you are fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Ben, can you spot the job that Big Brother wants you to apply for? I can. I can. The role is Big Brother's personal assistant. This is an extremely busy, responsible and challenging position. PA support to Big Brother and general office administration. Immediate start. Wow. 
that's got me written all over it. That's Ben, let's not get ahead of ourselves. No. You don't have the job yet. No, no, that's right. But Big Brother thinks you are well suited for this position. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like applying for any job, you must first attend a formal job interview. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. I, I need a job. I, I, I'm going to get it. I'll, I'll see you at the top. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Yay! Hi. While Ben chooses a suit for his upcoming interview, Caleb and the sisters wait impatiently in the pavilion for their turn to bat. Come on. Yay! Girls, get, get your cards ready. Woo! Oh! What do you reckon? Style. Ben. Style. Loved it. it not, Loved a bad, it. not a bad style. It was really good. Ten out of ten. Technique, give me a one. That's a one, sorry. Woo! Great though. That was nice. <laughs> Welcome back to the BBCG with your host, Bob Writer. And it's Shane Warren. No, it's not. It's Caleb striding out to the crease. Even Liz Hurley couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> and Katie and Lucy. Like Steve and Mark Ward, these girls strike genuine fear into the English ball in attack. Is that for a duck? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bowler, I'm not a butter. It's like he's swinging at a rusty gate. The inseparable sisters, Katie and Lucy, have to stay together at all times. <laughs> Don't move, Katie. I know you're scared of the ball. Look at me. <laughs> Don't move, Katie. I won't move. <laughs> we can do Wait, this. Girls, I reckon move slightly towards the... Uh... <laughs> oh, look at it! <laughs> and the wicket's gone. I've seen better batters in a fish and chip shop. <laughs> As in the real Ashes, Australia have ended the day in trouble. There's seven down with a day to play. They can't lose more than 20 wickets. I'm shocked that you're here and the other I'm girls not, aren't. I'm not shocked that I'm here. The game of cricket is quickly forgotten, replaced by discussion about the game of Big Brother. Oh, I think I'm that... really shocked that there's not other people over there. Yeah. I'm just... I'm curious as to whether... Tell me your original halfway housemates. Put me over here. Mm. Mm. There's a couple of people that are going to rule this house and they're already ruling it and I know straight down to the end that they're going to get to the final three yeah. and you can just write, it's written. Like it's, the I ending's know. already written. And I said to myself I was never going to vote based on people I didn't want to live with. It was just going to be based on strategy but who um, I didn't want to win. I... Mm. I and didn't I think... didn't stick to that, and I'm kicking myself. Yes. You just need to get people like that out early, otherwise they're never going to go. Yeah. And even though they might be great to live with, there's a lot of them, so we can hull. <laughs> <coughs> Coming up, Ben shows his assertive side. If this does happen again in the future, we will take our business elsewhere. Have a good day. Big Brother brought to you by Spot Jobs with flexible positions available at some of Australia's biggest companies. Spot yours today at spotjobs.com. I have a job interview and it's happening before dinner. And I'm, I've been told to ask the house to, ch to, to choose me an outfit. 
That's so cute. Oh, I really like Where's that the tie. Ben's about to be interviewed for a job as Big Brother's personal assistant. <laughs> Big Brother's personal assistant. This is an extremely busy, responsible and challenging position. Yay. We know we know how well I handle pressure, yeah. So. <laughs> Got it, Benny boy. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah, I'm strong. PA supports Big Brother and General Office Administration. I was a flight attendant. <laughs> um, my interview was before dinner and he said then I must bring this rack out and you must help me choose an outfit. Yeah. Yeah, I've never worn a bow tie before. Oh, really? I'm the only gay person never to have worn a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get a job, mate. I need a job so bad. <laughs> and if they say to me, what are your weaknesses, I should keep it light and say chocolate or something like yeah. that. Look at those legs. <laughs> I know. Someone's This good job could change your life. It could be just what I've been looking for. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's so cute. Hold them. All right, then put your jacket on. Okay. I've never had a job in real oh, TV before. Okay. So you can tell them that you're organised by saying that you have message cards. Yes. You carry your notebook to take notes when you're directed that. Oh, this is the notebook. Oh, wow. You've got the notebook. Okay. That's very important stuff then. Okay. <laughs> I know that when they ask a question and I and I don't know the answer and I have to think, I never think looking up, I think looking down. Because when you think looking up, you sort of go. <laughs> but when you think looking down, you sort of go. <laughs> it's better. Yeah. So I'll do that. To be honest, I'd much rather do this than cricket. <laughs> You're like, this is, this is oh, more... Oh, you might have to go for an innings after this. I will have to do an innings. This is Big Brother. Good afternoon, Big Brother. Oh, Good afternoon, Mr. Ben. Lovely to be here. Thank you for inviting me along. Big Brother, I'm applying to be your personal assistant. I think you very much need one. You have a lot of work to do. Tell me about yourself, Ben. OK, well, my name is Ben. I'm 30 years old. I'm shortly turning 31. I have a very nice, simple uh, life and uh, would be, uh, I think, a very valuable employee as um, I don't take a lot of sick days and I won't be out partying on weekends and calling sick on Mondays. How are you going? Good. Good. We were just Hi. saying to Jay that we can't believe everything that's happened today. <laughs> but no, so far I really like you too. Oh, oh we, we love you too. Yeah, we do. Fresh of breath, fresh of breath air. <laughs> fresh of breath air. <laughs> fresh of breath air. <laughs> Oh, no, good. Uh, it's, uh, we've had heaps of chats with you both. Mm. Yeah, fun. it's yeah. Good. good. I think yeah. we have a lot in common. Yeah. I've never been in trouble for being uh, late or for stealing. And um, I've been told that I'm very friendly and I'm always very eager to learn new things. What's it? Oh, I don't know We're not allowed to say, but it's yeah. intense. The mm. atmosphere is so... Yeah. I'm just going to put these here. Oh, good idea. So otherwise I get jewelry. You're so clever. <laughs> Who's a clever boy? Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there a Christmas so jump card? Between you two. I don't think so. I just saw him as a mate. He's just so cute. He's very cute. He's very nice. Me. <laughs> Me. He is very nice. I think it's just because if... If I'd come in here and just met him, maybe it would have been different. But because we were given a challenge to be in love straight away, yeah. Now it's almost it. I Seems put on an act, yeah. And now it's just like, mm. is this mate that I've done this challenge with? I don't know. Yeah. I think we. It could have been something maybe if there wasn't this challenge that just made me block off, yes. sort of thing. I don't know. It's weird. It's like when you're acting in a movie, you don't actually let yourself feel anything for your co-people. Mm. How then would you chastise the local baker 
for providing Big Brother's cold croissant. I'd say that, sir or madam, Big Brother and I expect more than this. We have been uh, patrons of your establishment for some time and we do not appreciate this kind of service. If this does happen again in the future, we will take our business elsewhere. Have a good day. Or I might go, have a good day. I don't know. I would something like that. I'd let them know. Well, there you are. I can't see without them. Ben, you have been successful in your application <laughs> for Big Brother's personal assistant. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I won't let you down. Big Brother trusts that you won't. <laughs> ben, you start tomorrow morning. Oh. Be punctual and dress appropriately. Tim's only been in the halfway house for a few hours and it's already getting to him. I'm not bored, I'm not sad, I'm not excited. It's just like, uh, a week in this place. At the time, I thought, yes, pick me, Michaela, but now I'm regretting that. <laughs> So I, I think he's really going to struggle. I think he is too. I... To be honest. Oh. And he's going to miss the poo, huh? Eh? I'm going to miss the pool. I'm going to miss walking around the house. I can't get away from anyone over this side, big brother. Would you rather be here because of something you did or something here because we put you here? Something I did. I'd be devo if you guys put me here. Will nominees always have to stay in the halfway house? That was how Big Brother described it to housemates this morning. Was, wasn't it? So I guess I better get comfortable over here then. Do you mean to say that you expect to always be nominated? Yes, Big Brother, I do. And I expect there to be a lot of people that will yeah. never be nominated. So it looks like I may never see the pool again. <laughs> Tim, Big Brother reminds you that this week's nominations are not yet final. Well, there's a few eligible bachelors. Let's take a look at what we've got. Mm -hmm. Heidi and Xavier are assessing the quality of available men in the house. Tim, mm. don't let his fiery, loose, curly hair fool you. Deep down beside this facade of a rock star, exists the soul of a beautiful, emotionally challenged, intellectual man. <laughs> I think that sums him up very nicely. Timothy, although in the facade and the superficial may scream, look at me, look at me, but inside he's screaming, hold me. Hold me. And you think that's me? I think you could be his yang. <laughs> I've yang. already got a yang. Yes, but as the Bible says, <laughs> just, be around. just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't <laughs> score. Coming up, will Tim push Tully too far? Tully, go and enjoy yourself because we've heard you whinging all week, but now you've got the other side. After the nomination shake-up, the new halfway house members are making the most of their cramped quarters. Let's just stargaze, people. Are there any out? No. <laughs> there's usually one, like, over, way over that way. We could go sit inside since there's... I don't want to. Time. I love oh, it out here. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. I'm loving it. It's, it's good that peaceful. we have these. Like, yeah. we've never had these before. Yeah. Guys, there's no reason for us no. to hate each other or be, like... We don't. No, I know, but I'm just saying this to myself. <laughs> we? And no, we don't. But I'm saying we can just have a fun week in here. Yeah. One of us is probably going home. But yeah, we just might as well enjoy the last week we have. So it's warm out there cooking on the barbie. The movement of housemates means there's a new cooking team in the kitchen, with the ex halfway house members taking delight in their newfound privileges. Are you right? <laughs> I'm just taking it all in. Hi. <laughs> Do you need a tissue? Who hurt you? It's just beautiful. <laughs> uh, cheers to... The safe house. Caleb and Ed for coming. Yes! Awesome. Yes. And 
Two of the new friends. Okay, guys, I think this we can is do this. Super exciting. Oh, it's like we're camping with mum and dad. How is this exciting? It's so exciting. So, you guys enjoying being in the safe house? Us. I feel very privileged. Mm. Is this good to sit at the kitchen table? No. The ex safe house members are learning to deal with not eating until all the current safe house mates have finished their meal. Who's eating? Who's, who's Rohan's best? still eating? Oh, well, we can serve. We can't, we can't, we just can't so, right, Rohan's the new jazz. That's all right. oh take, it, take, it, take, it, take your time, take your time. No! <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be that guy. No, I reckon. You don't want to be that guy who keeps them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You know what that's like. Yeah, you don't want to be that guy. Good. Anything no. else I can get anyone? No, Not just fine. yet. Thanks, Thank you. Right. Thanks. Charlie, Thanks. go and enjoy yourself because we've heard you whinging all week, but now you've got the other side. We're happy. We're happy. We're happy. Yeah. Don't keep asking if we're not happy because we are. We're all clean here. We're basic and oak. We're blue stars. We're saying that. Look at this guy, Ben. Ah, no, some of them. What happened? Who? Tim. Why? What happened? What happened, Tully? Tully, go on and enjoy yourself because you've been whinging all week. Stop asking us if we're okay because they're fine. Well, let's leave them then. We'll tell them they can eat in like 10 minutes. Who said that? Tim. Don't, you don't just, take it personally. I was personally. just being because we were left out there by him all the time. So I was just asking if they've got everything they need. Don't, don't take it personally. Red, 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 red. Please stop singing. <laughs> I just feel like she's on the edge all the time, like on the edge of Tally. a snap. Tally. Yeah. Breakdown. Like at any point she could just snap, happy or sad. I don't. She just wants to be the one who. Yeah. Is helpful. The martyr or the hero, yeah. swinging between both. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Sisters Katie and Lucy are one housemate and must stay within three metres of each other, which makes visiting the diary room awkward. Thanks for the little present, the dog again. They're super cute, they're just resting. Have you named your dogs yet? We could call one Big and the other Brother, because then they could be like me and Katie and they could stay together and then we'd always be like, Big Brother, Big Brother! Yeah, let's do that. Perhaps a bit more workshopping is required. Oh, OK. <laughs> Okay, we'll think about it. We'll let you know. <laughs> Big Brother is waiting with bated breath. <laughs> this is going to be weird, but, like, I don't know, this whole concept is really weird because it's like the people that have been put up for eviction are going to find it hard to... You know, talk to them. Talk to them, yeah. you know. So and if you're not up to the yeah, exactly, it's like, like you're constantly you going to yeah. be up for eviction. Yeah. You said yeah. it, you said it as well because they're not going to get to know you. So, yeah. 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 Really but maybe yeah. they'll start fighting but amongst exactly. each other. Exactly, amongst themselves because they're spending too much time. Or maybe Tim them. will just keep antagonising them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go, Tim. <laughs> How was dinner? Delicious. Amazing. You know I love you, Tully. No. Do you want to talk was, about no, it or not? No, because all I was doing was being nice. And, and all just, I was it doing was being me, honest. Just sad. <gasps> Tully, do you want to talk about it or just want to talk at no, me? No, I don't want to talk about it. You're not saying how you are feeling. You're just, just talking you at feeling. me. I just told you how I'm feeling. How? I know how it feels you to be said, over here. You're talking over me. Go. I know how it feels to be over here, so all I was doing was making sure that you had everything you needed. These are the words I said. Go back and enjoy the other side. I've heard you whinge about it all week. So stop asking us what we want, we're fine. Exactly. The way you said it, your tone of voice and the way you said it. But if that's honest... OK, but if it, if it upset me... I do you not feel asking, the need to apologise? Do you want to talk about no, it? No, I'm fine. I just want you to say you're sorry for upsetting me. Are you fine or are you upset? I don't understand I'm what you're saying now. right now. I'm fine now. You upset me at the time. OK. I'm sorry for upsetting you that's at the okay, time. That's OK, no problem. I'll stop asking you. Yeah, I don't you. know what's happening either, Tully. You just... 
like yelling, like talking I'm at yelling. me. Am I yelling? No one's yelling. Yeah, no, you're not yelling, but you're just talking at me, and I'm just trying to have a conversation no about it. No one's talking at you either. With Why don't talking. you guys go outside and have yeah, a Yeah, I'm happy you to guys. do that if you like. Because I haven't got a problem. There's no issue. And you've said sorry for upsetting me, so that's fine. I'll, right. stop, I'll stop asking so you what you want if we'll you find patronising. Yeah, let's move on. Cool. Cheers. <sighs> Next, who's Xavier's secret crush? And she smells nice. She does smell good, and her arms are really soft. Oh, no, I have no tent. Well, at least you had a private room. Thank goodness. Not bad. Yeah. As the evening conversation winds down... This evening onwards, it just felt a little left out. It's hard. Their private conversations and stuff. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to break in. Mm. I've been here since day one and I found it hard to break in. In the diary room, Big Brother is keeping this week's Ashes task alive. <sighs> Are you flying us somewhere? Are we going on tour? What's up? Why have we got English uh, accents what is this about when then? we're Australian? Can we take a look at this? I think we will. What's it? No. This? No. Oh, you're joking me. There's a tent in here. Hi, brother. I don't like the look of this at all. Housemates. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Big Brother is offering you the opportunity to reduce your wicket count by two. Are you up for the challenge? Yep. I'm in. Sign me up. We have to sleep outside, don't we? Big Brother has provided you with two telescopes, two binoculars <laughs> and outdoor sleeping gear. I'm not... I don't want to sleep. Why oh, me? Oh, come on. Housemates, your task is to be the night watchman. <laughs> All you must do is set yourselves up by the cricket pitch and watch the night. <laughs> Join an A-pole to a B-pole, join another B-pole, join a C-pole. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat on the other side. What about that? Why? And what people? Like, why one of us? They definitely go that way. Let Xavier do it. Put them in. Okay, because Xavier's doing a good job. <laughs> this isn't physically possible. It is. I'm doing a better job than sitting there having a sook about it. I can't do it. You saw me try and do it. I can't do it. Do you want to jump or something, Tully? Oh. Look at that. How cosy. Huh? So That's cosy. actually good. I'm freezing. Oh, so cosy now. <laughs> good night, Winter. Good night, Wonderland. <laughs> Good, Good night, Peter. Peter. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, all. Good night, all. Good night, Rohanetta. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where's your fluff one? It's here. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Matt's quite popular inside the house. Jay, um, Jay, he's, he's got the soldier, you know, the, the Afghan soldier, mm. the nice guy, the Jay, you know, relationship and... It's hard to trust people and it's hard to have any loyalty. And I think he's probably one of the only people that I feel like I've got, he's got loyalty towards me. Um, yeah, look, I'll, I'll, he's one of the people in the house that I'll trust mm. at his word. And I, mm. I reckon that if he... Because, like, even like, I was sitting there going... He's oh, also that's... a main game player. Oh, yeah, definitely. But everyone is. Everyone I'm not. This is the thing. I'm really not. Well, maybe you're not, because you, you just... Yeah, you... If anything... I don't, think, I don't think you can possibly play the game. If anything, I need to get better. I need to start thinking about the game like it's a game, because at the moment, I'm just like, I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Show Jazz! Show I'm Jazz the worst dancer you've ever seen. Show Jazz your twerk. Oh, so this is my twerk. We've oh, we, we, gotten a lot better. <laughs> I can't do it. It's the short. It's so creepy. 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 I think it makes it. That's too pretty. To go. She is pretty. She's very pretty. And she smells nice. She does smell good, and her arms are really soft. 
And they've been like a mole. Do you have a bit of a crush, babe? Um, it's not a crush because I know I have no chance. You it's, more know that. Of, it's more of a, an, a, a, an appreciation. appreciation for her beauty. You don't know you have any chance. Oh, no. No. She's a bit of a flirt. Like... Yeah, but uh, she is a bit of a flirt, but I'm not dumb enough to believe for a second that I've done anything more than that. Yeah, like, I wish I could have got love with people. Uh, like, I love my girlfriend and it would never mean anything. <laughs> It'd just be something to do, you know? Yeah. And the affection, like. I mean, I. Uh, yeah. I'm missing, I'm missing the. I don't. Maybe if, you're, if you've been single for a while, it's different, but I think if you're used to being in a relationship and having someone every night to hug and spoon and just be even just be tacked out with. No, nah, but I still. I miss that all the time, but it's, you know, whatever. It's, I don't have it, so. What are you going to do? Hello, Ben. G'day, big brother. What's on your mind? <laughs> I love Ed. I love him. His teeth are perfect, his eyes are perfect, his skin is perfect, he's great at sport, he's got a six-pack. I finally found a flaw in Ed. He snores, and it's terrible. It's terrible. And he's so... He's so muscly and strong that when I tried to wake Ed up, you know, gently prodding him on the arm and he's so muscly he couldn't feel it, he couldn't feel it. Can you hear the snoring? It's, it's Ed. So I had to kind of, you know, sort of go, Ed. 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 <laughs> He eventually woke up and uh, I said, you're snoring, I can't stand it. And then he rolled over and I, and I said, I love you, Ed. No, I would not miss that. I would not miss his snoring. Hmm. Ed even makes snoring look sexy, I have to say. Hmm. <laughs> huh. It's been a little over a week, and the housemate who's had some of the biggest highs and lows is Tully. Big Brother had a private talk to her to see what makes Tully tick. I'm very observant, and I'm, I think a lot, and I don't always say what I'm thinking. Um, but at the same time, I obviously, as you would know now, wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm very emotional, I'm very sensitive. If somebody else is crying, I will be crying with them. If there's something nerve-wracking, you know it. So in that respect, um, it's obviously, sometimes my emotions give away what I'm feeling, but in, at the same time, um, I'm way more switched on than I think some people give me credit for. How do you think the housemates see you? Well, I'm still trying to. Sh I'm still kind of struggling to find my role. In some respects, I guess I'm kind of like the big sister. I've got. I've. I've always, my whole life, had maternal instincts. I've always loved kids and and been a bit of a mother duck. Tahan said that I was speaking over people the other day. I'm going to have to say something, I'm going to be honest, and please don't take this personally, but you do too, you are the worst. But that's just sort of made me think about it, so I think I'm just being even more considerate about that because I know that I've felt a bit upset sometimes when I feel like I'm not being heard or I'm being spoken over. I'd rather someone tell me in this house that I'm doing something wrong, do you know what I mean? But so I don't see that doing something wrong, I just think that maybe I'm so used to being spoken over that I have to fight to be heard. Yeah. And Anyway. I know what you mean. Don't take it a heart, but really. I don't think Tim's struggling to figure me out still. And that could be mainly because he hasn't bothered to talk to me. She's a whole nother level. I've worked her out. I don't like it. Like, I struggle to talk to Tully now. I think she just broods. She broods, broods so much, man. It's not hard. Like, all you have to do is sit down and talk to me and ask. Like, I'm not a closed book. I'm not a Pandora's box. Like. It's not difficult, it's just a matter of whether they actually want to get to know me or they care. What is your greatest source of happiness in the Big Brother house? 
create a source of happiness when you open the gate. Clever answer. It's the truth. Last week, Ben and Tim swapped clothes to really get to know each other. But what did Big Brother think of their new looks? It is right. Hello, Big Brother. <laughs> I don't know if I... Oh. I do feel bad. Well, show him his boss. He is boss. Just go, hey. Housemates. Big Brother is confused. Yeah. I think we are as well. Me too. <laughs> Ben, how do you think you suit the bad boy image? I think um, I could grow into it, yeah. But I think if I were to sort of... G'day, how you going? Like that. <gasps> I think, I, I think uh, I'd have to work on it. Show him your strut. Oh. Your poses you're pulling. Oh. Your badass poses, yeah. He is good at it, isn't he, Big Brother? Oh, I'll do, I'll do this one. Big Brother's interested to see your best impression of Tim. Remember when I walked in and you were in there and <laughs> I was like, hi, <laughs> bye. I'll just try, hang on. I'll have to walk into the scene. Hey, come and play with me. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very good. I hadn't practised doing Tim. No, that was a good start. Yeah. What about when I make you do bad things? Oh. Go on. It, I, I, Take I should... the jacket off as well, because that's another look. That's like when you arrive at the club. Oh, yeah. This is, we all know this is not at all me, but it's interesting. Throw it over the chair like you mean it. Oh. Really? Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't it... hang it up on a coat hanger. You don't check it in. You think it's all right if I do that? Oh, I think it's all right if you do that. No, you don't hold it oh. like that. Oh. Just like, you don't care. Who cares? I think this is... I think we've learned something. No, I'm happy we've done it. Yeah. And that's a lot coming from me because I didn't want to be any part exactly. of this. But you should listen to me more often. I sh Well, I don't, I don't know about that. But, you know, you wore me down and I gave in and it's been OK. So we've walked a mile in each other's shoes tonight. Well, about 10 metres <laughs> from the bedroom to the diary. room. Housemates, thank you for this wonderful display. No worries. Our pleasure. Is there anything else? I think we're good. That was nice. I'm glad you talked me into it. Thank you, big See? brother. Good night. Night night. Big Brother brought to you by Songle. Listen to the housemates' playlists at songle.com. Any of the housemates a question, anything in the world, what would it be? I don't, I don't know them. I don't, I don't know who they are. How are you going? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I'm excellent. I'm excited. I'm over the moon. Uh, yeah, I'll just say, well, what do you do for a living? My occupation is social media strategist. Um, will you spoon me if I'm cold? Oh, I love a snuggle. So I would love a snuggle buddy, but I don't think my boyfriend would allow it. But if it's a girl, then I think I could probably snuggle. Well, I want to know if the next person's spiritual, because I'm so into that kind of stuff. And if I can meet someone who is, then we can talk about it for hours. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I don't really believe in much. I don't, I don't believe in karma, and I don't believe in soulmates, and I don't believe in gods, and so I, no, I don't believe in any of that. Well, I think I'd want to ask them what they eat what they can cook. I want avocado on a crust cut, not one on a chicken sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm really scared, concerned that I'm gonna starve. Can I cook? Yes. I love cooking. I make a mean pie. My roommates all love my pies. What are your three no-nos for shared accommodation? Number one, tidy up after yourself, especially in relation to food messes. Number two, keep explosive bodily functions to a minimum. Number three, when I'm sleeping, don't mess with me. I want to know what your worst trait is and if someone else did it, would you find it unbearable? My worst trait would have to be, um, probably I tell, if I can do something and someone's doing it, I like to kind of take control and tell them kind of what to do, a bit kind of bossy in a way. 
And if someone else was doing it in the house, I'd get annoyed, definitely. If I don't like doing it, I don't want someone else doing it. I'd probably ask them if they had one day, if they know they had one day left on earth, what would they do? Oh, I'd just a bit make a big party for myself. What is your stripper name? What is my stripper name? Uh, Snowy McCarran. If they could sum up their life from a movie title, what would that be? A beautiful mind. I think that I'm a genius. I've just got to find out someone to discover it. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, I don't know. I want a lot of things. I want um, experience and more experience in life. I want to meet the girl of my dreams. Ask me if I like onesies. <laughs> onesies with a passion that's so funny I literally hate onesies they're like the condom for 2013 because you see someone in them and you just never want to have sex with them in your life someone burn the onesies <laughs> if you had five thousand dollars would you use it to travel or would you use it to buy stuff I'd travel I'd, yeah probably get me to South America and get me started on my way there I think good questions whoever that was who was that <laughs> <laughs> What is your favourite body part? Oh, like not like of you. What do you what do you like of yourself? Someone. What do you think you have an amazing hair and dimples? Yeah. Oh, I like my legs and eyes, and I don't have pink eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you? I, I do like. Say... I too. Yeah. You've got great you but good. So you would say your smile? Yeah, maybe. You probably love your whole oh, body. Oh yeah, look oh. where you <laughs> start. As if you don't love your face. My face. Or your gun. <laughs> or your six pack. <laughs> yeah. You just got to pick one, Ed. I know. That's Stop what you so Let's wipe people's shoulders. What do you love about yourself? My eyebrows. Oh, I'm quite so happy about my boobs since I'm so skinny. <laughs> yeah. Are they real? I was looking at them yesterday going, they're perfect. Were you looking at them, Ed? I've had a quick look. <laughs> they're nice. Have you ever asked a question but wished you hadn't? Xavier has. Tell us about your wedding, Michaela. Um, well, because I worked in hospitality for so long, I've, I've got a lot of different ideas that I really want to utilise. I want to have a really fun wedding and I want to have an open bar. I want to have like a signature cocktail. Um, when I'm getting like all my photos done, I want there to be garden parties for like all the guests that are just waiting around. And like I have really big family and so does Matt because we're both from, like my parents are both divorced and remarried. So I've got all of this family. Yeah, it's, I don't know, I've got lots and lots of ideas. I'm not going to be like one of those brides that has to do like a dress change or something though. And I do want a big candy buffet and a big dessert buffet and I want to have the best food ever! <laughs> you know what I mean? Tim and Drew decided to set up a day spa with a few furniture moves, some hot rocks and some fast talking to get Jasmine to play masseuse, the bathroom was soon open for business. Welcome to the Big Brother Day Spa. My name is Jazz and I'll be looking after you today. Have you um, had massage before? Not for a long time. Not for a long time? Well, I'm sure yeah, you'll no. enjoy this. Um, just hang up your robes there. Feel free to leave your underwear on if that's how you feel comfortable. If not, it's totally, totally up to you. Any. That's fine. Just put the, um, the towel just over your bottom and then I'll um, come in and okay. um, look after you there. Right. Just leave you for one moment. OK, thank, thank you. you. Oh. Any problem areas that I should know about? We have been farting a lot. You have been yeah. farting a lot? Fart. No yeah. problem. I've, d I've got the perfect stone for that. Just help with, um, yeah, with the digestion. I don't really mind, um, but sometimes... It actually comes from this side of your back here. It's, you know, I can feel that just there. Now I'm going to pop um, the one rock on for you now. Okay. Please let me know if it is too hot. Okay. I'm just going to pop it in that digestion area. Ah! Can you feel that? Yeah. I thought it was... You did say it was a bit of a sore area, so yeah. might, um, you might be able to feel like that, but all the heat mm. will um, then come, go through that muscle there. Yeah. So I just feel like all my, the muscles in my body are relaxing. Like I could just... <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural reaction. That's actually a sign there, gentlemen, that the digestion rock is working straight away. That's actually just... That's a very good sign. Let's see if we can get the same reaction over here. <laughs> I might have to put a bigger rock on for you, Drew. 
Oh look, you knocked yours right off. I think that's worth the trick. See, I, I you know, I do, I do like 100% results. So, um, so I can take that one away then. Where's she going? Now, this next part, I'm just gonna, we'll remind you of meadows and rain. So I'm just. That's nice, what's that? This is meadows and rain. So this is for the inside healing. Oh. This is to, to, to relax your mind as well as your muscles. Mm. So again, breathe in through the nose. Mm. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Who's the best kisser in the house? Ben is about to find out. <laughs> That's filthy. Did he, did he kiss did he kiss it? Yeah. yeah. Come on, Xavier. What? You get did a patch, patch bean for the birthday. Yeah. Oh, he's really going to give me a good one. <laughs> you got to hold it there for a bit. you got to hold it. You're I can't able to the action. Like... <gasps> oh! That was beautiful. That was so good. Over lunch, our Prince Charming Ed decided to reveal his secret phobia. Why do you have a thing with bananas? No, it's not the taste, it's just the texture thing for me. It's just one of But avocado's got a similar texture. You can have the argument about other fruits all you want, but it's just bananas, like it's just that thing. And the mistake he made was revealing it to Tim. Where is this, this banana? Can you save that? Yeah, put it in the fridge. <laughs> Look, oh, Prince oh, Charming. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Prince Charming, afraid of a banana. <laughs> He's afraid of a banana. <laughs> banana man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not even unwrapped. <laughs> It's my kryptonite. <laughs> it oh, is. Wow. We've found Superman's kryptonite. This is Big Brother. Katie and Lucy. Yeah? And Rohan. Yeah. Come to the diary room and bring your housewarming gifts with you. Oh. You're so rough. In the middle again, sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm so unfit. I know. I'm, I'm like, like panting. <laughs> you're from, you're from that from tiny hallway. Here. We're all like. Can we take a break <laughs> for like a second. We're gonna pop out. <laughs> Housemates, you appear to be getting along famously. Yeah. In fact, if you don't mind Big Brother saying, Rohan, it seems as though you're an honorary sister. Katie and Lucy, yeah. if Rohan were to be your sister, what <laughs> What would his or her name be? <laughs> Not Rohan, it would have to be... Mohanessa. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Rohanetta. Let's just talk about this for a second. <laughs> Rohanetta, yes, can you tell Big Brother something about your sisters that we wouldn't know? Okay. Uh, they both have completely different tongues. Oh, yeah. good one! I good one! I thought, I thought people might know that, but completely hey, different. Yeah, that's good. Should Big Brother even begin to ask how you found that out? <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to think of our party tricks, and we don't have many. And I know tongues aren't really party tricks, but that's all we can think of. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. That's, that's it. <laughs> The boys have got together for a chin wag about yeah, wardrobe. You have a great jumper, Ben. You really do like this. I like your jumper. <laughs> I like his shoes the best. <laughs> From Kmart. <laughs> they were $6. Six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and these are my. Why would you could pay? You could honestly pay 70 bucks though for the exact same shoes. You somewhere. Like a label on that. Yeah, even a exactly. label. Even a label. Blue and you can pay 70 bucks. Or something else. Yeah, easy.
I wanted to like buy a whole new big wardrobe for my TV. You do, look at your shoes. That's, that's <laughs> no, but I mean like a really like, you know, cool one. That <laughs> is cool. How much is your title outfit you're wearing? Oh, six and ten, sixteen. This was fifteen dollars. Sixteen and thirty, thirty-one. That's a great purchase. And this just that's six dollars from Cotton On. <laughs> yes. Thirty-seven. What about your drops? Oh, they were two for eight. <laughs> <laughs> two for eight. <laughs> they're just all sports. They're, oh. <laughs> they're from Big W at yeah, Tate. You got like a total outfit is like. 40 bucks. Yeah. How yeah. good is that? That's unreal. Well, how's this? The girls are talking over there, and then us guys, we're talking about shopping. <laughs> oh, shopping. <laughs> Free delivery. <laughs>